Hey guys, welcome back to the Fashion Weekend YouTube channel. Hi guys, I am so excited that you're back here with me again. We are just days away from the curated estate luxury resale shop online, which is my baby, my thesis project. It is going to be at shopthecuratedestate.com and that is going to be live February 19th through the 21st. I'm so excited because my t-shirts will be here on Friday and it's just happening and I'm so excited about it and I know you guys are excited too and I can't wait for you all to see all the beautiful bags that we have and hopefully buy a t-shirt to support an HBCU student majoring in fashion. Okay, so enough with that. Let's talk resale again. A lot of you guys are like, I want to shop resale, but I don't know what to buy. That's a huge loaded question. Resale, resale, resale. When it comes to luxury resale, especially with bags, I always tell people to stick with a certain brands. That's going to be your Louis Vuitton, your Chanel, Hermes, Gucci, um, maybe sometimes Prada, sometimes Fendi, but they're going to be your higher end bags and they're going to be your classic style. So let's take Louis Vuitton, for instance. Louis Vuitton, everybody knows the infamous Louis Vuitton Speedy that comes in the three sizes. That Louis Vuitton Speedy, you are going to be able to either increase its value or sell it um, for equal price over time. The interesting thing about the Louis Vuitton Speedy is that is a bag that they're going to always make so you can always resell it. So that's like a huge contender in the luxury resale game are those type of bags. After that, I would say the Louis Vuitton um, Almas. This one is an Epi Alma. I talked about this a couple weeks ago. Um, I bought this bag for about $300 on eBay, but it retails on the site, I think, from between $28 to $3,200. It comes in that monogram print, but it also comes in this Epi leather. And this bag, I mean, this is a little bit of an older style, but this bag itself is never going to go out of style. And I could probably sell it for $300 or more if I wanted to on a luxury resale site or at the curatedestate.com or shop the curatedestate.com. So yes, luxury resale bags on Louis Vuitton is a strong contender. And also the Neverfull. I also have the Neverfull. This is probably the best tote on the market. Um, it can fit up to 300 pounds, I feel like they say. This one is a little bit beat up at this point. But, um, I mean, it's still a great bag. I think I paid maybe $400 for this um, at the luxury garage sale. Um, and I could probably get $400 for it if I wanted to. This is a great bag. Um, and it definitely holds its value. So, the Neverfull, no matter what print you're getting in, the Damier print, the Damier Bean Azul print, or even the monogram, or even the Epi, it comes in Epi too. These are bags that are never gonna go out of style, and I recommend getting something like this. If you are like, I want a bag to carry for a while, but I wanna resell it, perfect choice. Another Louis Vuitton bag is going to be the No Bucket Bag. This one is super beat up, okay? Somebody gave this to me as a gift. Um, it's super vintage as well. It's like probably like 40, 50 years old. Um, it's super old, and um, it is going to retain its value. Now, I could take it to a shoe cobbler and get all this stuff fixed, get all the coloring and stuff fixed. But um, I have chosen not to because I just um, like the bag. And I don't carry it as much as I used to. That's why it's beat up like this because I would carry it almost every single day. But what I will say about this bag um, is in better condition than this one. You can resell it and get it for um, the same price. They're going to make the same bags. Um, they're going to update them, of course, with colors, you know, different type of features. But they're going to make similar bags over and over again. So if you're smart, you'll purchase something similar or something popular if you choose to resell it. Now, when it comes to resale, it's a little bit complicated because those brighter colors, like the colors that I love, like the patent leather pinks, the... Um, patent blues, the different like super bright colors like yellows and stuff, those don't typically hold as much resale value because they're not classic. The only way that they will hold that resale value is if they were limited edition. But that's a whole nother story for a whole nother day. Also, people always ask me about Chanel. Chanel is one of those, one of those brands that it's going to hold its resale value and sometimes you're going to go to a luxury consignment shop and they're going to sell Chanel for more than what you would pay for it in the store. And people are always like, well, why would I pay more at a luxury consignment shop? Because you can't get it at Chanel. Luxury resellers have tons of Chanel, but sometimes when you go to the Chanel boutique, they might have sold out of that caviar flat that everybody covets so much. So you're going to have to either buy it luxury resale or you're going to have to try to figure out how you can get something similar. The thing about Chanel is anything Chanel, shoes, bags, blazers, suits, brooches, earrings, anything Chanel is going to always hold its value. And you can either sell it for at retail or above. The interesting thing about it is now I feel like those wallets on the chains, which are those crossbodies that are kind of like rectangle, 
those used to be about $1,500. Now they're about $3,000. So imagine if you bought that a couple years ago, you kept it in pristine condition, or maybe you never even wore it. You could sell it for about $25 to $3,000 now and make profit. So handbags are an investment. Men like to say, I would never, I don't want to buy my woman a bag. I want to buy her property. Bags are an investment because you can flip a lot of these bags. Brands like Hermes, you get the Hermes Birkin bag. Say for instance, you don't get it in the best condition. You get one off of eBay for two to $5,000 that's all beat up, but you send it to the Hermes store in Paris and they'll fix it up for you and you can resell it for about 10 grand. People always say too, why is Hermes so much more expensive? Because the gag is people think that Hermes, the bags are expensive when you go into the store. They are expensive, but they're even more expensive on the resale market because everybody cannot get them. So listen, I say this to say when you're making purchases and you're and you're like, I don't want to have this forever, I'm not attached to it, make sure you're getting bags that you can resell. So look up, look at brands like Hermes, look at brands like Chanel, Louis Vuitton. There are some classic Gucci styles, you know, um, some classic Fendi styles, Prada styles. Think about brands that are household names and that have been around for the longest. You can go in and get certain bags, but because they're not brands that are sellable or marketable, you might not get the bang for your buck. So these are your core brands that you're going to do get that bang for your buck. Another one I will also say is Goyard. I have that Goyard tote I'll show you all. Um, I am not personally a fan of the Goyard tote. But I've heard people who say they love it. I love my Louis Vuitton tote more. And probably more than that, I think I actually would love the MCM tote. But um, this is a Goyard St. I want to say St. Louis tote. I'm not sure. I got this from Luxury Garage Sale too. Um, I just wasn't a fan of it because, you know, it's kind of beat up. And I really haven't worn it that much and it doesn't hold that much. But um, Goyard is also a brand that you're never going to not be able to sell it for more than what you bought it for. So that's a brand that I would take a look at too. Goyard. And I'm going to list those names again. Goyard, Chanel, Louis Vuitton, Hermes, some Gucci, Prada, Fendi. And I will also even venture off and say Ferragamo. And I would even say Saint Laurent. And I would even say MCM. These are best. Givenchy. Christian Dior is also a huge, um, a huge, huge, huge brand. Christian Dior just did a 30% increase. So let's also talk about that. Brands do increases about every single year so if you bought a bag and the one thing about them is they're not really making bags that are outside of their normal classic style so the dior lady bag the louis vuitton speedy the gucci um some form of the gucci boston you know they're not really making bags that are different than that so you can get a bag and you can resell it you know in a couple years because that price is going to keep going up so get classic bags if you want to resell a new bag that i feel like is one day going to be on the resale Hot item, if not already on the resale market, is going to be that um, tail far bag. I wanted to unbox it here on my uh, channel, but for some reason, this is not the right box. Um, give me one second. I will be right back. Okay, sorry, that was quick. I had to go get the box. This is actually from tail far. I'm going to unbox it for you guys. But let me just say a couple things. Telfar is a black designer, Telfar Clemens. He's um, been infamous now for having the uh, Brooklyn or Bushwick Birkin. So I got this bag and I feel like this bag eventually is gonna be hot, if not already on the resale market. So I wanted to unbox it with you guys and um, support a black designer. It is Black History Month. And listen, this is so exciting because I got this bag, honestly, y'all know me, I got this bag in November. Here it is, February, and I'm just not opening it. But the reason why is because I want to save it to open it with you all. So, oh my goodness, you know, you know I get so excited when I open up the box, but look, this is just my little receipt, I won't show you, but I paid, um, I want to say I paid, this is the medium, so I forget how much it is, it wasn't that expensive, but this is what it looks like when you open up the box. Isn't it everything we love to see it, Tell far we love to see it. Um, so what I'll do is go ahead and open it. This is everything, and I love the Ziploc bag because I feel like that makes it like um, super protected. I haven't opened it since November, um, but this is cool. And it also has the, the um, TC on the bag, which is super dope, which means he, he takes a lot of care. But look at the dust bag. It's super cute. Now, let's get it open. Oh, I love it. I love it because first off, he's a black designer, but second off, I feel like, come on now, Oxblood, this is a classic color bag. Look at that. I'm so excited. I 
think I'm even more excited because he's a black designer and I feel like, you know, black people do luxury. The curated space for where black women do luxury. So that's why this is super exciting. I also love this bag because I don't know if you guys are familiar, but it also has that long double strap and that short strap. For me, this is actually something I bought for school. It's super cool. It has um, the tagging and stuff in there. I bought it for school, but um, child, I ain't left the house since COVID. So haven't been back to school, but I will uh, carry it on into my maybe next chapter in life. Who knows what that'll be? But yes, this is the Telfar Oxblood Medium Tote. And we're so excited. It fits the uh, MacBooks. And I want to show you guys, share with you guys the um, unboxing. So this is another bag that I think is gonna have awesome resale value one day and I would recommend anybody to get one. They're always sold out, but if you can find one, when he does release them, I would get one. So I say all that to say, shop luxury resale, shop the curated estate, February 19th to the 21st. The website is going to be shopthecuratedestate.com. We're gonna have all the luxury deals that you can ask for, Louis Vuitton, Chanel, who knows? I might give a sneak peek over the next couple of days but please, please, please do um, support this project. Like I said, the t-shirt proceeds are gonna go to an HBCU student majoring in fashion. Thank you so much again for tuning into my YouTube channel. And like I said, I got this Telfar bag and I got several other bags that hold their resale value. So that's why you always wanna shop luxury resale because when you do, you're kinda, you're, you're being sustainable, but you're also being smart. And tell your husband that it's an investment. Thanks, guys. Have a great weekend.